Yo, 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 what up, people? It's been a while. I don't even know when this is going to go up, to be honest. But for reference, what's the date today, Javi? August, uh, like, 3rd? August 4th. But anyways, today we are putting... Well, first of all, I hope everyone's having a beautiful, beautiful day. Everybody's out there hustling, getting that motherfucking money, baby. Making your shit fast. Putting in that fucking work. Because we haven't... We haven't been. We haven't been. <laughs> but uh, we're trying. So today we're going to be starting the install on the Midwest Chassis Mini Tub for Sabino's Camaro. We've had this thing here forever. When we got it, we didn't want to install it because it looked like a complete pain in the ass. And the kit's a little bit weird. Doesn't come with any instructions or anything. I wish it did, but... It doesn't. So we're just kind of going off pictures we found online. There's no other videos either on this. So pictures, we're men, dude. We just look at that. And hopefully, it uh, hopefully we don't fuck this up. Um, I have heard of people fucking it up pretty bad, but I've seen some pictures online. It doesn't look too bad. The pieces are just a little weird. So that's one piece, and that is passenger side. Oh wait, no, that's driver's side actually yeah, this is driver's so side. we determined just from our guesses it's hard to fit it up in here without actually having it cut out oh that actually might make sense yeah yeah that's what me and sabino kind of figured out uh the other night so obviously you guys can see sabino already started cutting this right here but we need to basically cut more that way this will actually fit in there and where we started cutting, let me show them real quick, hobby, is right here. There's a, uh, you can see this this seam where there's like um, spot welds here, right after it. And I'm pretty sure this cut can go further this way, kind of into this hump. But we're going to be uh, conservative with it before we cut too much and then we're fucked. The way I determined that was I measured this guy. This guy's nine inches, and then I measured from here. So, as you can see, that piece back there seems like it's going to stay, and then the mini tub starts from here to, you know, right about here somewhere. Uh, we personally, I don't know if it's meant to fit a 29.5. I hope it is. This car specifically is on 28s currently and um nine inch that's narrowed three inches so that's supposed to be the maximum you can narrow these on you know without a mini tub but i think our wheels are offset or sabino's wheels are offset i don't know what the offset is on them but they're built specialties they're nice as fuck but i think it's like a five and a half do you know what the offset was hobby i do not know I don't know what the offset is, but basically we couldn't get it to fit right in this car. So that's why we're now mini tubbing it. But I am going to go get some 29s tomorrow. That way I can mount them on there. And even if I have to customize it, I want to make this car fit 29s. You know, even if we never run them, it's good to be able to fit them if he ever sells a car or anything like that. So yeah, literally. Texas is all fucking 29s. So we're probably going to run them. First chunk is out. First chunk, dude. Um, so, if you look in here, there is this little area where I can fit my fingers in. I think up to here is where you can cut. So we want to cut this all the way back that way. Uh, this section is held in by that piece inside. So we got to grind that, obviously, but yeah, we're getting after we'll probably get rid of all of this, I think. My boy nimble, dude. <laughs> Don't let the the size fool you. 
<laughs> you good? So I think that cut that we made up here is too far over, huh? Uh, move your head. It's like 5 eighths over. All right, you want the grinder? Yeah. You don't want the hood? So obviously if you own a plasma then, lucky you, buddy. Get, get in there deep, dude. That's good. Pretty sure that's how far we gotta go. I think baby steps so we don't know how to do it. I mean, we could just go all the way to where Sabino had already gone. We can, but then we have to cut. Yeah, we can. I guess I could do but that. But we have to take off this lip to get to where Sabino is. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I can get this. I'll get this. Honestly, what I was thinking, dude, is just going ahead and cutting this lip here. And whatever's left, if need be, we could just roll it back and weld it so it shuts it. Yeah. So, you know, just take this piece off, this top piece, by cutting it straight. Well, we can, I mean, we already have the cut Sabino made here. Yeah, we do. Look, so I can make, I can cut that right there. Or watch bend this up. What up, cut yeah, baby? Got off for what? Like earlier, like 30 minutes ago, 40. I don't know We're getting ready that whole shit anyway. Look, I can just cut it. Sally. True. Okay, now. Let me tell you, Sabino, getting in this car is true. Yeah, I was back there getting in that whole river. Yeah, this back seat, dude, just chilling. I can get it easier from up here than you can from over there. Well, I went, I went pretty far down, but yeah. I don't know how deep it is.
Not really new, pero. Is that where you went through the top? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You want the wheel? Not yet. Shit, really? Yeah. It's going. Like butter, dude. <laughs> Okay, so we have uh, this thing that runs across like this kind of weird. From a picture that we saw, these are left in, which I agree with. Seems like a good idea. I'll give this stuff a little bit more reinforcement. So we gotta follow that. Oh, damn, I almost cut myself bad. We gotta follow this line. So we'll have a flat cut here. And it seems like they're coming all the way to somewhere in this area. So I'm gonna cut this this way and this this way. Grab the camera, bud. All right, you want me to pass me pass you the grinder, dude? Pass me the grinder. Top or bottom? Personally, like bottom. Less work. Personally, the top for the cords out there. Let me know, dude. Top. of a man that knows what he's doing. God damn, I fucked this up. <laughs> you just explained it to yourself, my boy. This is where we're gaining all our space. You guys see how this curves that way? Well, where it's going to be boxy now. No. Honestly, what we could do is I could come tomorrow with a sawzall and just cut uh, the grinder now. Or I can go get the sawzall while we fucking, like, here I got a fresh fucking metal plate. Like another inch, actually. You want to come across now? 
Stop right there. You want to bring it across? Straight or diagonal? Like, just bring it diagonal for now so we don't fuck something up. Yes, sir, boss man. <laughs> Here, let me see that. Where's your cut at? My cut's in here. Let me see the grinder. Right, hold up. Let me finish cutting this because it's not fully. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. The tub should run up along that and then down along this. And then, you know, we got that nice box effect. Uh, down there may need some reworking and, you know, We'll probably cut like straight that way and that way. I'm thinking the tub goes all the way down there. I'm pretty sure. But for now, I'm going to continue this cut back this way. And then hopefully we can actually fit the pieces in here now. Oh, man. What is this, day three, dude? Uh, yeah. Got the Milwaukee Torch Saza blades, dude. Mm-hmm. With the Dewalt Saza, dude. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Got the Nike and Adidas going. Um. All right, guys, so we have a miscellaneous part hanging around. Where'd that fucker go? Oh, it's on the floor. I threw it, yeah. Oh, there it is. So we think it goes right there. Some, some like this. <clears throat> so that Stop. means we got to cut all this stuff behind here. All this stuff out. I think I'm going to cut this whole entire layer out. Oh. So I guess just get to cut. Let's go get that Harbor Freight Plasma Torch, dude. Let me hit him up. Oh. How much is that Harbor Freight Plasma? Dude? I don't know. It's like 4 o'clock right now, so we got time. Don't make it. Well, it is. It's fucking 450. We got 10 minutes. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. All the other day. He's like, about to be. No se leer un pinche reloj. So it's time to go, though, he says. God damn! How much are they, dude? Um, I mean, on the cheap end, I mean, they're not too bad. Hey, but they start at nine hundred dollars. Oh fuck! My bad, dude. They start at nine hundred, no man, man. Four hundred bucks. Oh. Chicago Electric, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pass. Say we start to all up and then up. <laughs> I'll plug it in, that fucker gonna burn up. <laughs> Damn, I made I made a pretty saucy little You did dude grommet, Dan. What? My little grommet, Dan? What? It's the case I keep ah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what I'm seeing bro, this shit kind of like should we just cut this straight? So you have this piece to weld on, or you want to take this out too? I don't fucking know, dude. Everything's a few layers in here. <laughs> I was talking to James, you know, I bitch got like three, four layers on some parts. <laughs> that fucker has three layers right there, look. Chirrocaleta. <laughs> I mean, we can always make our own sheet metal shit if we fuck it up. Too yeah. Nah, well, I give a fuck how it looks. No, but like, yeah. 
We got sheet metal if we fuck it up too bad. Honestly, nothing, nothing a little bit of says stick driver time. outer, and this is driver inner. Inner. <laughs> <laughs> so Pretty self-explanatory, dude. <laughs> it's a, it's a tire cover, dog. Where's your new pair of glasses, dude? Oh, they're in the box right here. But yeah, just start cutting on them. We'll see where we get, I guess. Go ahead and get you the new safeties, dude. The clear ones. And I brought them. Let me see that. These fucking uh, Viking shots. Okay, so next cut. That's our next cut around here. We don't really know what we're doing. Seems about right. <laughs> but there's a uh, a shock mount under here. Let's see if. Oh yeah, you guys see that circle right there? No, this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the circle is the one that touches over here. Oh yeah, you're right. It goes around. The that lighting thing. is kind of fucked. Let me turn the flash on. There we go. So that circle you see there sticks out to not all the way out here, but I think we're either gonna have to cut basically to the circle because this whole lump is in the way of the tire. But we're gonna start cutting here and I don't know, see where it takes us. <laughs> Get out of my tape measure. <laughs> Oh, is that hot, my boy? <laughs> what? Is that hot? Yeah, but I'm seeing, you don't see this fucking thing that start crushing up now? You took all kinds of support out of it? <laughs> no, it's small. It's only like a little, well, we already cut it, <laughs> but it's like a little piece. What do you mean? That hangs over. And honestly, if you're if you're worried about support, we can support it with some fucking anything. I guess it's mainly right there. But that circle is big. Have you seen it? Yeah. No, I'm just saying like that's a lot of area. Don't you think that should start collapsing up? I mean, they can. Nah, it I, mean, I think that's I mean, why. I think that's why we gotta weld that other piece in. Yeah, I mean they do it, so whatever. We ain't the first fuckers. Right? Mm -hmm. It's pretty self-explanatory, they say. Dude, but now we gotta cut this layer out down there. Go in this hole. Right there. Yeah, we gotta cut a few layers out of it. Come on, this fucker already moved, look. Where's the vice grips at? Pull that bitch. Now what's up with that thing? <laughs> That's another layer, dude. Probably have to cut the bottom now. Yeah, I'd have to go like that now. Yeah, so it can come out. Should I need a long enough?
Oh, I see what's holding it. Little piece? Yeah, it's like a, like an inch long. Oh, really? At the very bottom. Centimeters in there. The Harbor Freight, dude. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, Okay, so we got all this junk cut out of here, and that piece seems like it goes here. Kinda. <laughs> Doesn't fit perfect, but... I don't know, you think we gotta cut back more a little bit? I think we gotta cut a little bit more up here, as well as a little bit back more. The back's no big deal. No. Well, we gotta take this out, because the tires are maybe rub that. Yeah, that's true. But, like, I mean, I quite frankly, I don't even know. Let's put the tire in here, see what it does. Damn, buddy. Clearing 29s? Shit. Well, really. Bumper clipping it, man. Fuck the bumper. We can uh, cut the bumper. Much, no, how much room do we got to go forward? Because we're in here to go forward a lot. Oh, we got like an inch no, just, just, before you hit the fender. Damn. This shit's dumb. We need to go way further yeah. to be able to adjust all arms. Well, on our 29, yeah. I think we got enough space up front, way. Yeah, no, we have more than enough space up here. We got one fits full size of space. Oh, here. shit. Actually, it rubs right here. Where? I filmed the rub. Unless we cut that little nub a little bit. Where? Where's the rubber? Oh, shock mount. Push this knobby? Yeah. Push it. That yeah. shit's rubbing hard everywhere. Look at the metal down there too. All this, huh? But we are, we did adjust the rear end that way a lot so we can clear, remember? Not only that, the rear end is literally leaned over right now. No, I think it'll fit, because look how, how tilted the rear end is. Yeah, it's tilted a lot. Yeah, see, on this side, it's basically on the ground. Do we need to get rid of all this? Yeah, huh? Yeah. So we can match that. <laughs> What up, people? Dude, your new hair looking... <laughs> looking fly, dude. <laughs> What's up? Damn, look, guys, we got a plasma cutter for this side. So we already have most of the stuff on the driver's side cut out and actually almost have the whole tub fit. But we're going to wait for our buddy Felipe to bring us some Clicos tomorrow so we can do this good. But... Now I got a plasma cutter. Shout out the boy Bill for letting us borrow this and we're gonna start cutting this side. So I think this side actually has to get cut all the way down there, but I'm gonna start probably around here, cut it this way, and we'll do the same thing as we did over there, leave about an inch and cut it across this way. All the way down into there. So yeah. Not Turn the compressor back on. Spin on? Oh, it is on there. No, it's off. I shut it off.
pass me like a screwdriver so I can scrape this junk off. Alright. Iconic street races of Albuquerque. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people. So we got this whole side cut up and cleaned up. My boy Peps cut out this little square tube for us. We're gonna put this in here just for extra rigidity before we weld this piece in right here. So I'll tack the little square tube, then tack this in, and then we'll be able to tack the tub in. What do you think? Al putazo. Mira, acá tenemos que arreglar las cagadas del Javi. Javi got out of fucking shape with the saws on, now I gotta fix this shit. Just shut the fuck up. So I'm gonna tack this stuff real quick and then we'll figure out how to do this side. This side's a little different. It's actually a lot of different. There's a plate that goes in here and then the rest of the tub is the same, but let me tack this and then we'll be back. This side looking good, looking good other than our big ol' ass gap right there. So now we're gonna combine these two together that way we can start putting uh, that side together. Did you fix the fuck up? What? Why not? Here, record us. I'm the right cameraman right now. Uh, you know on the lens? Where are we at? Javi, come here. What's up? Javi. This video today is brought to you by... Pe -pe Pepinos Performance. Yeah. Oh, mames, ¿qué hiciste? Ya, la cagó mi primo. A ver, tiene que ser más así. Bring me a screwdriver, please. ¿Qué? ¿Qué es? Este güey no viene para verse bonito. Yeah, or just give it a little bit. That way you guys have to do another one? Yeah, see how it's all bent right here? Yeah, I know what's happening. But this one isn't bad, the other one is all fucked with me. Because we're stepping on it for like two months, fucking around it. No, the other one lo agarramos y lo hablamos así. Without having like anything there. A ver, ¿cómo otra vez? Ahí se la verga usted. Hold that shit right there. Beep. Marito, Marito. Bottom, Javi. Hold, Señor, Carlos, ahorita me agarro su dedo. Ah, why is this shit way easier without Felipe being here? <laughs> For real, dude. That fucker just made shit harder. Oh, all the way on the edge. Se ocupa. Alright, just hold it. Just hold it. 
Es que Pepino está aquí ahorita por eso. Vas a ver. You got something to say about this, Avino? About this? Yeah. Pushed in, but it's looking good. No, no, just uh, let me know whenever you tack it on this side. Just needs to be pushed in, but other than that, it's a compartment. Yo, uh, this tub is forward like an inch more than that other tub. They're different, Javi. Oh my god, Javi, why you gotta say that on camera? I know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're different, but this one's pushed an inch more forward towards me than the other one. We're still rolling, brother. Yeah, we're still on camera. Be quiet. It's okay. We can edit it out. It's not like... What I mean forward more. Like, if you put a laser to, like, be straight, that is going to be an inch pushed back. because I got a laser right <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're pretty. Ahí está, chingón, Sri Lanka. All right, people, passenger side here. Uh, this cut we had a little lip, but now we just made this flush, and then there was a plate out here. Look like this. This type of stuff. It was like right there. We had to knock all the spot welds out of it. Take that out. That way it'll sit flush. We should have probably done the same here, but we're going to leave those because everything's sitting okay now from the outside. And then passenger side, we have this little section. Passenger rear lower. It's going to sit right in here. Something like that. Then we're going to make a little slick cut hammer this in that way it tacks up right against it nicely tacked all along here and then the tub can go in right or the tub first uh i don't matter yeah but this it. goes behind the tub if you're going looking at it from the inside or it goes inside the tub yeah. and then i ground all around in here i marked it first and then that way i could tack the tub from the inside this one thing we didn't do on the other side down here we also need to tack the tub, but yeah, basically it. That is what the inside of a tub looks like. But now the real reason we're under here is this gap. So 
I don't know if it's, you know, I cut too far, whatever. That's probably what it is, is I cut too far. Anyways, I have a little piece right here we are going to use to fill this in. That way we can have this covered up. And honestly, I think this little piece is the last part that needs to be welded. And now after this, I can, I think, seam seal and paint all of the tubs will be done we'll be done completely with welding other than a few tacks that i gotta do in here i think on the other side but that stuff's real quick and easy and this shouldn't be too long either but i'm gonna tack this in i don't have a cameraman so i can't film it i ain't got nobody here to help me quite yet everybody's still working so i'm gonna just tack this in i'll show you guys how it looks afterwards and yeah then we'll move on to seam seal and paint Okay, so that's how that looks. I think I'm gonna just clean this up with a grinder a little bit, make it look a little bit better, but there it is. Um, I think we're done now. Uh, if you guys see over there, I'm just missing some text right in that little area. Right there. Damn, my finger looks huge. But, um,. Once I finish tacking there, everything's gonna be done and ready for seam seal. Oh, and I do have this little gap here, but that's just a little piece of half inch. I'll slide in there and we'll be done with that piece as well. Oh, and some tacks right there. But yeah, just a few more minutes of work and then we'll be ready for seam seal. Sick, brother. Yeah. What are you in Shrek all week? That's going worth the scene. It's gonna seem that Shrek or what? Something like that. I think it's harder in there, no? It is for a second, but once you get down to where I'm at, down here, you can't do it from the outside. So why didn't you just do the bottom stuff down there and then the not the, so you can get easier from up here? I'll just need to cut that hole bigger. Has to be thicker, huh? Way thicker. Yeah, cut that hole a little bigger, cuz. All right, give me the things over there. <laughs> Yo, what up guys? So before I let you go, I wanna go over a few things about this mini tub that I forgot to in the video. So for one is the gap that's about half an inch runs all along the tub. As you can see here, I had to, you know, this is the gap I was left with and I had to fill this with a piece of 16 gauge sheet metal that I had laying around. I just cut out, you know, a half inch strip, you know, it was about a few feet long and that's what I used to fill it. In this next picture, you could see how there's seam sealer on two sides right there because there's two seams after I filled that. And there's another area where we cut too far, which is, I believe, also the driver's side tub. We just cut too far back on it. So in this picture right here, you could see the square I had to add. It's about a six inch by six inch piece with a little triangle underneath. So just don't cut that far back on the driver's side tub. Take it slow and you know you won't have to be adding your own sheet metal i wanted to make this as informative as possible since there's no instructions and midwest is the only company that makes a mini tub kit these days for a fourth gen f body as far as seam sealer we used one from 3m in my opinion was a little expensive we probably should have gone with you know some caulking or something from home depot 
But it is what it is. Our homie Doug hooked us up with the stuff from 3M because he worked at Napa at the time. But like I said, you could probably get away with some nice caulking from Home Depot and that's only gonna run you about eight bucks a tube. And we only used one tube on the whole car. On the, I guess on the mini tubs. And the 3M stuff was like 30 bucks a tube or something crazy. If you have any questions on this install, feel free to message us on Facebook or Instagram. And while you're there, don't forget to give us a follow. Thank you all for watching. Se la lavan.